Here's what Northern Avenue and Avondale looked like Tuesday evening after those storms came through. Several feet of water at the lowest point of the street. These drains are supposed to carry the storm away. When they're separate from the sanitary sewers, the rainwater empties into the nearest creek or stream. However, Cincinnati Stormwater Management Engineer Eric Saylor says 85% of the city is part of the combined sewer district. That means the water that flows in here mixes with water from the toilets and drains in homes. Is there anything that can be done to prevent those types of incidents from, be, from happening? So in some cases, maybe we are able to upsize the, our stormwater infrastructure. Um, we cannot do that if we are conveying it to the MSD sewers because what that does, it's one MSD can't handle that more flow and that could also uh, increase the possibility of sewer backups, which we obviously do not want. Those backups can push the combined rainwater and sewage into homes. Metropolitan Sewer District Director Diana Christie says when the rain falls as quickly as it did Tuesday, there's just not enough capacity for it to drain into MSD's pipes with as quickly as it falls. Is there anything that can be done, maybe increase the size of the piping through there or anything like that that can, you know, alleviate the, the rare frequencies that these do happen? The MSD has a uh, very long-term plan for addressing issues caused by wet weather um, within our combined sewer system. It's primarily focused on reducing combined sewer overflows um, and not, you know, an overall overhaul of the entire combined sewer system. Christie says some of those long-term projects include larger sewers to handle more wastewater, sewer separation, that means splitting the sanitary sewer and storm sewers upgrading treatment plants so they can handle more wastewater and overflow storage tanks to keep it from overflowing into the streams and river. When I say long-term project, I mean long, as in decades long. These are major infrastructure projects that are going to require a lot of money and time to complete. Now, as for the folks who've had water back up into their basement, whether it's Cincinnati or another part of town, call your sanitation district and report the issue. If it was, in fact, caused by a sewer backup, well, there are programs out there that could help cover the cost of cleanup or even prevent it from happening again in the future. In Avondale, I'm Christian Hauser. Back to you. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.